What's going on everybody? So today we're going to talk about a tumbao I like to practice on my own. It's very different and very weird. Like, weird. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. So to all the new subscribers, welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. I hope you guys will enjoy this channel. We learn something new all the time. Oh yeah. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. We upload videos every week, something different, something out of the ordinary sometimes. And yeah, you just gotta love it. And to all my day ones, you already know, man, I really appreciate you guys, all the love, support that you guys continue to give me. And like, just the fact that you guys share my videos is just, ugh. Woo, yeah, I love y'all. So I actually posted this on my Instagram quite a long time ago, um, but uh, this, I wouldn't consider it a tumbao or traditional tumbao or I just heard it one time and I, figured I liked it and uh, it's something that I will include in the middle of my tumbaos or just add as a combination but when you try to play it through it has a nice groove to it so I really wanted to show you guys this it's very complex though so just give me some time to explain it but it's gonna be good so the tumbao I want to show you guys is this Sorry, I uh, I kind of got, you know, carried away with it, so. Yeah, let me show you the base of it. And just to keep in mind, your hands are gonna be, basically if you're left-handed, it's your, it's gonna be on the tumba. If you're right-handed, it's gonna be on the tumba. So your main hand will be on your tumba. Just keep that in mind, okay? So it's, it's, it's a nice workout for your left hand, but I think you'll enjoy it because man, woo, yeah. So this tumbao uh, basically starts with two opens on your tumba. And then you're going to do one open with your left hand on the conga. So to hear that together, it's going to sound like this. After doing that open on the conga, what you're going to do is a palm slap with your left hand and then you're going to do a bass with your right and then a bass with your left hand. So it's it's basically, you're gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be like this the whole time. So this is what you're gonna get. So to hear that together, it's gonna sound like this. So after doing that palm bass, what you're going to do is a palm slap and then a muff on your tumba. So to hear that, it's this. But then you're going to do a bass with the bottom of your palm and then a slap. So to hear that together, it's basically this. Now to hear it with the initial move, it's gonna be like this. So up to this point, this is what you're gonna get. It's starting to get a little bit crazy, but yeah, you could hear it. And then to finish the whole pattern, believe it or not, yes, we are done. Um, what you're going to do is basically an open with your tumba and then another bass palm and then palm slap. So it's gonna be. And 
just to get the idea, after that is those two opens on the tumba. So it's gonna sound like this. And just to hear what the tumba is gonna sound like this. Now to put everything together, it's gonna sound like this. You could get kind of crazy with it, man. Like I found myself just doing muff sometimes and continue doing whatever I'm doing with my left hand. Replace the muff with just opens. I would switch the muff and the open. I would make it open and then muff, or sometimes muff and then open. You know, it really depends on the vibe, but it's something that I love to practice. It keeps my mind, you know, at ease focusing knowing that one hand is here, the other hand is there, and I can separate my mind like that, so. Just gotta love those little exercises and those little moves that you could uh really help you split your mind in two. Alright, y'all. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. See you guys next week.